Today, the finale of the Zamorakian Civil War questline. I know, right? That was fast. Before we jump into the quest, I want to show you something interesting. I got a comment not too long ago informing me that with my current gear, I shouldn't have too much issue killing Hellware with the Animate Dead AFK method. I was skeptical mostly because of the issue of accuracy. However, since I got Elf Bear Deer as a Reaper assignment, I figured why not give it a try. Cinderbane's Weapon Poison Plus Plus Plus, a Vampirism Aura, Soul Split, Blood Reaver Familiar, Sea Singer weapons including an Elite Sea Singer Wand, Perked Out Superior Sea Singer Armor, Anime Dead, Blood Spells, lots of prereqs for this frankly, but with a Bandos book my accuracy is nearly 100%, thrown in EOF with a Guthic Staff spec, and my accuracy is flawless. And it worked out really well, the kills took about 1 minute each, give or take, and it was trivially easy. Although I'm not sure if you can tank the damage from the mushrooms, so when it did spawn on me I just surged out. I didn't really treat this as AFK Hellware as much as I saw it as easy Hellware. You don't have to futz about with freedom to drop the bleeds or resonance to heal. Just keep hitting him with spells till he dies. And look at that, a Cyware Orb. Not an upgrade, unfortunately, since the Sea Singer Orb is objectively better. The Cyware Orb only has tier 80 damage, you might think that it has tier 90 accuracy, but that's only the Cyware Wand. Offhand weapons don't contribute to accuracy, a quirk of the system, what are you gonna do? I'll level it for components sometime in the future. Anyway, onto the quest. This is a very big face. It's so bright. Paris noise, I need your help. Alright, cool, hunt for the MacGuffin. Urak is planning something and I believe we're all in danger. Oh, you don't say. Our spies have kept tabs on his forces, trying to get a glimpse of his plans, but we've learned nothing. We've tracked down a contingent of Bilrak's forces sneaking into the prisons of Santistan. We don't know what they were after, but it can't be good. Soon I will be coronated. I shall be named Basilissa. I have a duty to safeguard my people to protect them. I do not accept this role lightly. But once I am crowned, I will not be able to face these threats directly. Why? As a ruler, I must rely on others to risk themselves on my orders. Or create a council that does all the the basilissa stuff and then you could actually be useful instead of just relying on blatant nepotism so now i would like to join you this is my last chance to get my hands dirty and to stand directly before the threat you literally have a choice you don't have to be the queen or the basilissa i mean it's the same thing are you ready to go yes let's go to sentiston <laughs> thanks for bringing me downstairs I've spent my entire life in education studying Ceridominus doctrine and law, everything I could possibly need to succeed my father. Isn't that weird? When you think about it, it's like I spent my whole life studying my dad. You're not going to need the cheese for a while, could bank it. Eh, I'll keep the cheese. It's a lucky cheese. Isn't Zentistin a marvel? So much history, so much knowledge just buried beneath the surface. How much history is there to have to uncover when your dad was there? Could have just asked him. Body of a demon cultist. Look at their wounds. The damage is brutal. Yeah, look at those wounds. They're laying in raspberry jam. Skid marks. Somebody drove a car through here. See, that looks like blood. I'm normally of the opinion that magic is neither good nor evil, only a tool to be used. But I, wow, what what a what a hot take. But I can think of very few positive uses of shadow magic here. They took something large and heavy out here, some ancient device perhaps, a buried object of power. Ah, the MacGuffin. Okay, I'm Kazard now. Move, you slovenly dogs. <laughs> just, just do the, the, the... Move, you slovenly dogs. You're supposed to move the largest crate out of here, first and foremost. It contains a unique artifact, a ritual marker created by Zaros himself. It must be in the ritual circle to activate his portal. But the biggest crate is the heaviest, General. Heavy enough to crush you where you stand. Honestly, where do they find these feckless hicks? That's a good word, feckless. I'll move the largest crate onto the ritual circle myself. What, what, was this a puzzle? <laughs> it's a sliding puzzle with people. Just just, just leave. <laughs> you stupid freaking... Oh, this is, they really put me on the spot here, aren't they? It'd be nice if I could just get these guys to leave. I may be a general, but I want to play a game. Stay put. You can't leave this... One, two, three, four... Five by three area. Well, the largest crate is heavy enough to flatten these fools. Can, can I... Can I do that? Oh, cool. That's good. Oh, good. So I, I can move them. Puzzles are a lot easier when you can just kill the things that are standing in your way. Excellent. A new ritual marker. One that Zeros had been experimenting with. But why? I can't. Words. 
Majorat no longer need to sustain their lives with rituals, so what's it for? There were reports of strange figures seen in the Menophos Library. I'd put it aside as the data was unclear. But I think we need to investigate this now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Are you ready, Lucky Cheese Wheel? Yes. He's ready. Look at this place. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? There are three places of interest that we should investigate. The Magister's Chamber, the Soul Altar, and of course here in the Grand Library. So one of Bilrak's cronies was after information on how souls are consumed and used. Great. Necromancy. Ooh. Sounds like they're branching out from their usual tricks then. Indeed, and I don't like it. Yeah, well, you wouldn't. What do you know about Terra Guardians? They were my father's people long before he came a god. He rarely spoke of them, though. I believe all humans are Terra Guardians. Technically, we don't know a great deal about them, but we do know that they had great insight into the manipulation of mortal souls. This is, is this a new cat? Oh, the, whoa. Gee, uh, that face is spoopy. I see many things. Cryptic, but not particularly helpful. It is not the way of cats to be helpful, <laughs> but I suppose I can make an exception. There was a beast that arrived here, tall and dark and stinking of dog. A clarin? It argued with a man who stank of death. He was injured and bleeding, but it seems to only inconvenience him. There was a woman made of metal with him. She was filled with shadows and hatred. Her spirit was made of knives. They did something to the altar, but it didn't stick around to see exactly what. What if you didn't do Fight Club for this quest? That's an interesting question. I think technically Fight Club is a 5th age quest. Yeah, it's 5th age. This damage looks recent. It looks deliberate. Are those claw marks? Well, there's two cats in here, so maybe. Wait, where's the other cat? Isn't there another cat in here? Or is that the same? Is that always... Is it always Ka? I don't remember Ka walking around. Okay, I've been thinking through everything we've found. You must remove all your items. Oh, Adrastea. So saucy. <laughs> By Lucky Cheese. The arrogance in this world astounds me. Around every corner, every street, there are people who believe themselves above it all. Nobles who believe that happenstance of their birth elevates them. Mages who believe their magic is more important that are carefully... That a carefully, than a carefully learned trait. Come on, Jagex. Adventurers calling themselves a world guardian because they were in the right place at the right time. Well, yeah. Let me show you what one woman can do with a blade, a shield, and a lifetime of rage burning inside her. <laughs> Let me show you. Eh. I don't like this Ferris noise. From what we've found, it seems that the Zamorakians are researching soul magic and necromancy. What? The necromancers are studying necromancy. New skill tease? Hmm, who knows, maybe. If I were you, I'd think about getting somebody there on the inside. Demonheim armor is very slimming and in fashion this season. It also has the added advantage of completely hiding your face. Anyone could sneak in among those recruits. Luckily for you, I've tootled around the wilderness a fair bit recently, and I might have something that will help you there. While I was out watching Team Chaos murder... Oh, <laughs> I thought it was Team Chaos murder. While I was watching Team Chaos murder one another, for stupidity's sake, I spotted a couple of places where Demonheim ore had found its way to the surface. What? Mind yourself some of that, then a little elbow grease and a smithy will sort you a disguise out lickety split. How convenient. Bring Wildy Sword and some food slash spirit shield if you need it. Aggro system still working? Okay. Bring some shocks. Some shocks. Oh, by the way, I did a master clue the, uh, a couple days ago. And I got an elemental battle staff, and I'm very excited about it. That's very convenient. It's very good for uh, utility spells. I do know technically an elemental battle staff is a failed roll on, on the hat. I think it's a 1 in 180 if you hit that table to get the hat. But, you know, I already got the hat. I thought this was a really tiny anvil. You kind of... Can you see it? Can you see the tiny anvil? This is some... Uh... This is some engaging content, gotta tell you, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Hank Hill, thank you. Excellent. Why was she standing outside like I was using the bathroom? You ready to infiltrate the mage arena? Yes. War is discipline, and no one's more disciplined than unbridled vengeance. I thought that was a Pokemon. I got <laughs> so confused for a second because I, d I did not expect to see a Malatops out here in the wilderness. Why are they using Malatops? Why didn't they use like a gluttonous behemoth or something? Moya is the Malatops buyer at the Anacronia Ranch. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a nice little detail they added in here. I like that. 
It's not normal, I tell you, I take them prisoners. Oh, so that Malatops I killed could have been one I raised myself from, from a wee from a wee babe. Oh. <laughs> I'm just so mad. It is unfortunate that you forced my hand in this. I am not unreasonable. You'll tell me what I need to know. Or you shall ha you, sh you shall have a stark lesson in the unrestrained power as best of all. That's that's how Bill Rack talks. He's <laughs> he talks like somebody who who doesn't who has mush mouth. So I just take him away. Bill Rack is looking to consume vast amounts of magical power, vast amounts of anima. Oh, you mean the guy who's looking to figure out how to consume magic is trying to consume magic? If he performs performs the right wit if <laughs> if he performs the white right ritual. With all those components, he could consume half the souls in the human kingdom. The good news is that something like this is going to be incredibly unstable. Three alien magical techniques working together is a recipe for catastrophe. Okay. If you say so. Gently press the volatile fire rune fragments into the structure's weak points for maximum destruction. I'll meet you back at Faldor Castle. Good luck. We need to make our escape. Ooh, cutscene. Unrivaled, untouchable, but it was not to be. Your sabotage turned the power Bilrak summoned into the marker against itself. Magic surged until the structure could contain it no longer. In a great thunderclap, the marker exploded, shattering across the wilderness like a bad dream. Why is he so handsome? In one act of sabotage, the world was safe once more. None even knew they'd been at risk. Mud Black Witch made them too sexy. Stupid sexy Bilrak. We saved the souls of half the human kingdoms. Why only half? Because Thanos, ah. Uh, maybe we consume everyone, but... Only half of them are worth saving anyway. Ooh. Thanks for the subscription, Angelus and Nex. Enjoy the emotes. I believe I added a new one. I don't know if it's approved. Oh, it was approved immediately. It's face hand. We'll sit furthest on the left. Uh, Kandarin. Asgarnian. Uh, Mistalin. Menophyte. <sighs> okay, uh, this is stupid. Um, Foil the Majorat now. Arrange the seats for people you've never seen and will never see again. Yes. That seems so pointless. I don't have the in-game music on. Oh, can I do that? Can I close and restart? Nope. Oh, but I can move this, apparently. <laughs> I have no words for a speech. Proceeds to reset a five-hour five hour speech. Whoops. If I ever won an Oscar, because that's definitely something that would happen. I didn't have anything planned to say, because I didn't expect to win this award. It's creepy how she kind of looked at the camera. I have seen compassion, joy, and kindness at every corner. I have seen the bravery of everyone from the armored knight girls. to the tireless shopkeeper. I love them. They're great. I have visited worlds made of crystal and seen stars made of music. But in all my travels, I have never seen anything as wondrous as all of you. But what about gas prices, me lord? Oh god, she's singing now, and now we have to pretend pretend it's good. So cool. She returns. I can't wait to hear where in the abyss you've been. Bilrak, did something happen while I was away? You look terrible. Silence. You know very well what happened. If it wasn't giving you too much credit, I'd say you had something to do with it. Me? <laughs> As if you need my help to scupper your plans. 
No. She's been on my farm I buying dinos for beans. Two mortals brought it all she's been helping. Down. She's been building an and army. You just let it happen. Obstinate, conceited child. Gods, kill her. This is the wise old man who leans over to Xenovivia and she's like, I think it would be rude if we left too early. Should we stick is around? Is that all? Keep yapping, Kerr. If Bilrak won't put you in your place, I will. That's what Zimmeregal sounds like? I think like? not. You, Marjorat, may think yourselves masters of soul sorcery, but you lack imagination. Observe. <laughs> What? What have you done? Just a little twist on an old classic. Say what you like about us mongrels. We know how to adapt. She sucked him dry. Oh my god, she's still singing. I think if we just pretend to use the bathroom, they won't get, they won't get too upset. This is a load of barnacles. Enough! Nymora, Gerard, vengeance. Destroy her! Now! Their silence speaks volume. So be it. Prepare yourself, Moya. For you face one of the children of Ma. I mean, Moya is technically a grandchild of Ma. So, oh my god. She's still going. I can see her feet. <laughs> you can see her feet through the floor. Oh, really? They did it off screen. Come on. What the hell? Is he dead? Or is he just like indisposed? Oh, no, because that was the the strange power thing, wasn't it? Yeah. So the uh, Majrat died. Same thing happened when he went into Demonheim in 2010. Yeah. And he killed the last of the Chelan Ma. I kind of like Bilrak, but I like Moya more, you know. Goth Mommy Moya. Okay, so let's um, grab our puzzle box. Can now be added to the tool belt. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Take that cheese wheel and head to the Wildy Mage Arena to find a rave now. Okay. Come on, Lucky Cheese. Oh, find a raven. Aw, oh, man. You got me excited. That was going to be a rave. I was going to get the glow sticks. Woo. I, I, I like I like the roll. It's, <laughs> it's really goofy looking, but I like it. But I, I can't do anything with them. Do I give him the cheese? I guess I need the title. I guess this cheese isn't so lucky after all. You can stay here with the wolves. I do not abide by treachery. We discussed the quest's quality during the rest of the stream while I was killing five Mechanic Arch Glacier. I'm hunting for a scripture of when it's got a higher drop rate on normal mode than low street hard modes, so that's what I was doing. Whatever, let's talk about the let's talk about the quest. My thoughts weren't as collected during the stream, so rather than trying to scrape together bits and pieces of barely sensible criticisms and compliments from the VOD, I'll just give you a reworded and scripted review of the quest. This is all just my opinion, by the way. If this were the end of a several year long storyline, I'd be upset. This quest didn't really have the pacing of a finale quest and just felt like something that was trying to tie up loose ends. However, if we look at the quest as a transitional quest, as a short series branching together two bigger stories, then I think it's somewhat acceptable in that regard. It's not a party. It's a taxi ride between two different parties. I liked the parallel between Moya and Adrastea's ascension to power. Both are children of divine creatures, if you could call Majorat divine, I mean, they kind of are, but they both have a lot to prove. For centuries, Moya always wanted her father's approval, even though he only viewed her, at best, as a burden. At worst, an experiment. And what she did to Zemmeregal, her uncle, basically, well, cousin once removed, technically, but he's close enough to be an uncle. It must have been really cathartic for her. Like Lucian, Zemmeregal was never too kind to his half-breed niece. 
Adjustea, on the other hand, was perpetually coddled by Saradomen so that she'd be kept safe, which is likely why she was so intent on joining us in our adventure. She'd spent her whole life in libraries and academies at the behest of Saradomen, but it was time she actually did something proactive. An interesting thing I realize now, and I don't know if this was intentional, but Moya and Adrastea kind of flipped roles. Moya is usually the active one, making sure she's involved in all plots to grow her own power, and Adrastea would hang back and send agents out to do what she needs done. In this quest, Moya just sits back and waits, while the former World Guardian and Adrastea foil Bilrak's plans. And that brings me to Bilrak's plan. I'm a bit irked that he was beaten so easily. You'd think his ultimate weapon would have been better protected. Also, why'd they do him dirty and kill him off screen? We had to fight Oreb as vengeance, but we couldn't fight Bilrak as Moya? Come on, Jagex. If Bill's gotta die, let us do it. All things considered, though, I think the quest is fine. Middle of the road, functional. It does seem Jagex is trying to decouple their story from Elder God-related things. Saren's off on a corpse Aya. Zaros is somewhere in Erebus. Where has Azanadra been during the Civil War? What's he been doing? Do we know? If he said, like, oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go somewhere else since we defeated the gods. Oh, right, yeah, he's a god, isn't he? Never mind. Prete rewind everything and pretend I didn't say anything. Like, didn't say, didn't say, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, As an Adra was banished. And yet another Majorat is dead. How many are actually left now? Akthanakos, an Akra, Hazil, although he's technically a Maserat, not a Majorat, but it's tomatoes motto. Kazard, Karshai, Trindine, Vahisitel, and Zemarigal. I wonder where the story's gonna go from here. Maybe it's time for a return to more grounded stories. Less cosmic stuff. Time will tell, I suppose. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know I have to edit a toilet in, right? <laughs>